the room tax money and how it's spent, it could uh, be spent to finance an NFL stadium in Las Vegas, but we're getting a lot of different versions on this, so who's telling the truth? Let's go right now to 13 Action News political analyst John Ralston to try to sort all this out for us. John. Well, Steve, I think a lot of people are confused about what room tax money is really used for. Brian Callahan talked to Andy Abood. He is Sheldon Adelson's right-hand man on the stadium. He asked Abood about the criticism that room tax money could be used for other purposes. The $750 million is, is dedicated, the room tax is specifically dedicated to increased tourism. If somebody has an idea for $750 million, then they should come forward with it. What we're saying is let's take $750 million over the course of time, which is $50 million a year. Now, in fact, as you can see from this chart that we're putting up, this is not true. Nearly two-thirds of the room tax goes for other purposes. That is, if the room tax were increased, as the SANS is proposing, under normal circumstances, it would go mostly to education and other needs, not tourism. So they've taken room tax and diverted it for other purposes before, the legislature that is, including when it was mandated to go elsewhere. So this would not be unprecedented. But Abu told Brian he's confident he has the votes up in Carson City to do what Sheldon Adelson wants. I'll talk about that at 6.30. Back to you. All right. Thanks, John.